now we will discuss about the factors affecting the ionization potential that means in the periodic table all elements does not exhibits the same properties because already discussed depends upon the outermost electron configuration of a element it behaves or these are divided into various groups each group have different properties in the case of ionization potential also this behavior is different for one element to another element some factors are influences the ionization potential in that first one is atomic size with the increase of atomic size the ionization potential is decrease why see here the statement is with the increase of atomic size ionization potential or ionization energy decrease because with the increase of size the nuclear power attraction on the valency electrons will decrease then the removing of electron from the outer shell is becomes easy so the ionization energy which is required to remove the electron is less take a simple example for the group 1 elements that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium for lithium the outermost electron present in 2s1 shell for sodium this is 3s1 for potassium 4s1 for rubidium 5s1 cesium 6s1 francium 7s1 which already known but keep on increasing the atomic number in the groups what happens the electron enters into the new shell so that at atomic size is increases that already discussed in the previous session so for lithium you may have two shells and sodium three shells potassium four shells rubidium five cesium six and francium seven that means keep on increasing the size of an atom the nuclear power of attraction or the attracting power of nucleus towards the electron will decrease because the distance will keep on increasing the attracting power will decrease and the attracting power is decreases the elimination of electron from the outer shell or valency shell becomes easy so with the increase of size an atom the ionization potential or energy will decrease and the next one nuclear charge the another factor which influence the ionization potential is nuclear charge now greater the nuclear charge of an atom what happens when the charge is greater the attracting power of nucleus to electrons is becomes more when the attracting power is more the elimination of electron from the valency shell becomes difficult when it is difficult we need to apply the more energy so the ionization energy or potential will increase that means with the increase of magnitude of nuclear charge the removing of electron becomes difficult then what happens we need to apply the more energy to eliminate or to remove the electron in the valency shell then ionization potential or ionization energy increases that means nuclear charge is directly proportional to the ionization energy or ionization potential here we already discussed the removal of electron from the isolated atom is easy compared to the removal of electron from unipositive ion that already discussed because the keep on increasing the nuclear charge the power of attraction will increase so the ionization potential for neutral atom is less compared to the ionization potential for unipositive ion which is further less compared to the ionization potential of 
by pulse to ion and so on that means keep on increasing the nuclear charge on the nucleus ionization potential will increase now we will discuss the another factor which influence the ionization potential that is screening effect or shielding effect. This shielding effect is also known as screening effect. What is this shielding effect? When you move from second period, third period, fourth period, the elements which are present in the fourth period and sixth period and so on, they are heavy elements. The number of shells present in those elements are very high and the number of electrons also very high. That means in a many electron system, the valency electrons are shielded by the inner electrons. That means that inner electrons which are present in the element shields the nucleus attraction to valency electrons. This is known as shielding effect. That means here it is a nucleus and so many electrons are present in the various shells for many electron system. Suppose take a this is valency shell and these are inner shells. These all are inner shells. These electrons which are present in inner shells screens or retards the nuclear power of attraction on the valency cell. When it is retards the power of attraction, the attraction power on valence electron will decrease. That means due to shielding or screening of inner shells or inner electrons of the many electron system, the power of attraction is decreases on the valency electrons. So when that attraction is less, the removing of electron from the valency cell will become easy. So, with the increase of shielding effect or screening effect, the ionization potential will decrease. That means, in many electron system, inner electrons are screens the, screens are shields. That means, retards, retards the attracting power of nucleus on valency electrons. Due to this reason, the power of attraction on valency electrons by the nucleus will decrease. This effect is known as shielding effect or screening effect. Due to screening effect, the attraction power of nucleus on valence electrons will decrease. The ionization potential also decrease. That means, screening effect or shielding effect is inversely proportional to ionization energy or ionization potential. Now, let's see in this picture, here this is the many electron system and this is the valency electron. The electrons which are present in the inner shells retards the power of attraction of nucleus on the valency cell. Here this is the nucleus and they have a power of attraction on all electrons. But due to presence of many electrons in the inner shells, the inner shells retards the power of attraction on valency cell. That's why the attraction power between the valency shell and nucleus will decrease. That means the attraction between the valency electron and nucleus will decrease. So you can easily remove the electron by giving the small amount of energy only. That means the ionization potential or energy will decrease that you can see in this picture when these many electron systems are revolving around the nucleus. And uh, due to retardation or shielding of attraction power of nucleus on valency electron, it gives the less power of attraction on valency electrons by the nucleus. So, by this you can easily say, with the increase of shielding effect, the ionization potential will decrease. 